Well, you're sitting at home thinking you're on your secure Wi-Fi. Guess what? You may not be. How does that happen? Well, Julie Watts explains. On the street, in the car, even at home, public Wi-Fi now seems to be everywhere. Thanks in part to Comcast customers like Lorraine. I thought, well, gee, aren't I being generous? In a controversial move last year, Comcast quietly began using home internet routers as Xfinity public Wi-Fi hotspots. For instance, Lorraine's router powers her own password-protected private network and a separate open public Wi-Fi network that anyone within range can connect to. Hers is one of 8 million Xfinity public hotspots in 19 of the nation's largest cities. And while Xfinity subscribers log in for free, anyone can connect to the nation's largest public Wi-Fi network for a small fee. Users get access to free public Wi-Fi pretty much wherever they go through other people's Comcast routers. But what Comcast doesn't tell you, once you connect to their public network for the first time, your device may automatically connect to the public network every time a signal is in range even in your own home when you think you're on your own private network. I, I found out the hard way. That I noticed that the speed was a little slow and I checked and sure enough, I was paying my bills on a public network. Now at home, at work, anywhere near an Xfinity signal, if you've ever logged in, you may unknowingly connect to the public network instead of your own. We can see right here what you searched for. And like any public Wi-Fi network, Xfinity's is easy to hack. I was able to see all the data that you were sending to the internet or receiving from the internet. The Electronic Frontier Foundation, Seth Schoen, hacked both my phone and computer in just minutes while I was connected to Xfinity Wi-Fi at home. Would you have been able to hack into my password-protected network? I would not have been able to hack into your password-protected network. But he points out public Wi-Fi isn't necessarily bad as long as you know you're on it and you only use secure websites. In a statement, Comcast says customers should always use caution when sharing any personal data on any public Wi-Fi network, and the company does provide instructions online for how to switch back to your private Wi-Fi when you're at home. I'm switch it back to my secure network. But most like Lorraine didn't know they had to. Forget. Because Comcast never warned them. It's still there. <laughs> now, once you log in, there's no way to log out, at least not from your phone, even after a factory reset. So if you sell it, the new owner could keep connecting through your account. At CBSSF.com, we show you how to unregister your device through your home internet account, but who knew you had to? So how can you stop automatically connecting to this public Wi-Fi? Uh, well, with any public Wi-Fi, you can obviously turn your Wi-Fi off on your phone. You won't okay. connect to public Wi-Fi. Also, always double check which network you're on. Comcast says, though, Android users can download the Comcast app, which will help prioritize networks. Doesn't work, though, on Apple phones, and Apple hasn't commented. All right, let's see what happens. Thank you, Julie.